Hello, welcome to another episode of e-learning uh, tips. Today we're going to see Speed Grader Commons Library, one of the most popular um, Canvas tricks. So to see how it works, <clears throat> let's pick up an example assignment that I have here. And you all know how to access a speed grader. So once you go there, uh, you're gonna see, you know, student assignment. Uh, I took this particular one and, you know, um, example in particular because the student hasn't submitted anything, for example. Oftentimes we go up here and <clears throat> add comments and all that. Like, like, for example, it'd say, hey, you have not, you know, turned in your assignment, right? And then, or whatever the comments may be, over and over again, you're gonna be, typing this repeatedly. So instead of that, what Canvas had done the last couple of months, they released a feature called the Speed Beta Comments Library, and it's available right out of the box. So it shows up as this little call out box kind of thing. And when you click on it, it has multiple comments that I have previously entered into the library through this add comments to library section. So anything that I put in here and add it to the library will show up when I click on this chat box icon, call out box icon in all my uh, Canvas classes. It's kind of pretty, very convenient. At the same time, it'll avoid repeating the same comments over and over again, typing it up into Notepad and copying it and pasting it. So this is right away available if you wanted to post a comment right from within the speed grader itself. <clears throat> Again, speed grader comments library is a very small set of uh, library and it's pretty not well organized if you, if you ask me, okay? But it is lightweight and for faculty like me who do, don't use too many varieties and shades and flavors of comments, this will do. But if you're a faculty that actually are looking for an extensive collection of comments that you wanna use in your classes, may I recommend you to Annotate Pro. You'll be glad to know that we have a campus license that you can readily access. All you have to do is uh, call up eLearning or Campus IT and ask for directions on how to register yourself to the Annotate Pro. The Annotate Pro also comes as an extension in your browser. Um, right now, I think it's available on Chrome and Edge. So you can add it right there. It'll go in one of those. It'll show a big A in here like that. And then when you click on it, it will show you all the different variety of things that you can do with that. Again, that's for another episode. Uh, look forward for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. And again, this was a quick Canvas trip on Speed Grader Commons Library. Thanks for watching.